Okie doke, we have superb, superb Perrin versus not that Turin. It's a different Turin. He's great. He's a nice guy. He's not the one you're thinking of. He's not the superstar celebrity man. He's just Turin. MTK's Turin. Superb Perrin is fighting not that Turin. Different one. <sighs> Zinch versus Warriors of Chaos. For the Warriors of Chaos, we're playing with some new toys, it looks like here. Azazel with his newly buffed Rampage from the Pavane of Slanesh. And then the Knights of Immolation Doom Knights, some Marauder Horse Masters, Chaos Knights, the Demon's View, and Marauders for a frontline with the Mirror Guard as well. That's actually a pretty diverse Warriors of Chaos roster. You have Zinch, Slanesh, Nurgle, and then Slanesh again. Alright, just missing some corn. On the other side, we have Zinch with some of their new stuff as well. Chaos Lord of Zinch, the pure melee lord, allowing us to take the Iridescent Horror, which there was almost a never a reason to do before we got a pure melee lord. The newly changed Zongors, Sour Guts, Chaos Knights of Zinch, the new Centigors, and more Chaos Knights on the far side. That is that. No change bringers in this build. And our little Iridescent Horror friend did bring Final Transmutation to deal with single entities maybe you had sigvald maybe archaeon azazel still a fine target maybe you had the middle of the vortex beast so i don't mind it not a ton of standing shooting from zinch just the sour guts so i think the three skirmish cav of the warriors of cash should probably have the range superiority sour guts you know longer range and whatnot but three skirmish cav should out dps the sour guts barriers might be hard to get past though Sourgut's going to counter fire now on the Marauder Horse Masters. A little bit of damage here and there. In comes the first drop from the Knights of Immolation. Just takes out some barriers from the, uh, the Sourguts. They haven't actually taken any real damage yet. We'll see if it ends up mattering. On the far side, Chaos Knights and Centicore is getting a free charge onto Marauders while all of the mobility of Chaos is on the other side of the formation. Even Azazel's not here to punish for the Rampage or anything, so that is a free Marauder pickoff for these Chaos Knights of Zinch and Centicores. Elsewhere, the Zongors are just moving up. We have another fight in the woods. Now, the Centigors are Beastmen, so they do have that Woodsman trait. They don't take any debuffs from fighting in the woods, and they have Armor Piercing, which the Chaos Knights do not enjoy. But with Azazel supporting, Knights of Immolation diving in from behind as well, it does look like this will go poorly for the forces of the Ancient Centicors are about to rout. And without them, it is just a 3v1 on some heavily armored knights. First final transmutation is out. It is overcast onto Azazel, but Azazel immediately Pavane rampages the Iridescent Horror, who's now surrounded by the Knights of Immolation. Kind of all surrounded in here. We'll see if the Chaos Lord of Zinch can get involved. Looks like he's currently fighting a couple of his own. Then he sprints over to help out. Too late for the Iridescent Horror. That caster is gone. Demonic Instability will take him. But Azazel's lost a bit of HP. We'll see if this Halberd Lord can get some damage back. Elsewhere, things are going fantastically for Zinch. They've killed already the Mirror Guard, which is a huge get. Killed the Mirror Guard, killed some Marauders, and they're just kind of sweeping through, clearing out all these Marauders while the Sour Guts turn and fire. I am betting that we would have loved another final transmutation on this big old blob fight, but sadly that Iridescent Horror is dead. Centigors get picked off by Azazel as they try to rally, and Skirmish Cab are staying safe. Warriors of Chaos are down on balance of power, even after taking out the enemy caster. It's that little Chaos Lord has his uh, Zinch Stormcloud helping him out wherever he needs it. And Sour Guts are firing into those Chaos Knights. Yeah, the forces of Zinch are just rolling down the front line of the Warriors of Chaos and taking out everything in their way. Mirror Guard, you managed to rally. They were not chased off by those Centigors. Centigors went after the Marauders instead. And Zazel is back. The Zinch used their Tier 2 army ability on him for a Bolt of Change. Kind of surprised they got a Bolt of Change off of one spell cast, but that's probably... I mean, that's guaranteed the only army ability they're going to get all game. They don't have any spells left. Chaos Knights is each going to die off here, leaving the Chaos Lord all alone, surrounded by enemies. And he is going to get Pavane of Slamash Rampage next to Azazel. Sour Gut's still offering a little bit of support, and Zongors are running over to help out. But I'm a little concerned for the forces of Zinch. Infantry have a hard time winning games, if that's really all you have left. So we'll see how much this one Centigore and this one Chaos Knight can do. The Sour Guts are also getting a little bit of damage out. 
And it's not like the Chaos Lord of Zine just getting murdered over here or anything. Knights of Immolation are just kind of holding him in place, but not getting a ton of work done. Chaos Knights do take the fight for now. The Sour Guts still offering that little bit of poke here and there, and all three of the Marauder Horsemasters are thinking about what to do. But wow, the Chaos Lord of Zine just getting very low on leadership, even at his high HP point. What the hell? He's not affected by Azazel's Discourage or anything. Now he is. And he routes immediately. That's insane he routed at that high of, uh, of HP. Centaurs of Zinch and the Chaos Knights of Zinch maybe should have come over here a lot sooner and helped out with the situation, but I don't think he understood how desperate it was going to get that quickly. So now he's going to lose his Chaos Lord of Zinch. Nice little Pavayan Rampage cast in the Sour Guts, though. Pulls them into melee combat. Demon Spew are about out of the game. These Marauders are about out of the game, and that will just leave Azazel and his cavalry. The Skirmish Cav are all pretty healthy. His melee Cav has taken significant damage. Chaos Knights get caught napping a little bit, get charged by their uh, normal, undivided brethren. And the Sour Guts need to separate themselves from melee combat after that Rampage has worn off. The Centaurs of Zinch still fucking around with some Marauders and Mirror Guard. Kind of have to get more into the game here. They don't want to be chasing these Skirmish Cav. Another little whoopsie. Only 35 armor and no shields at all. Skirmish Cav can actually just kill them as they run away. And the Doom Knights of Zinch are actually going to land in them. Hold them in place for the broader Horse Masters to turn around and volley. Chaos Lord of Zinch is taken out. He's going to walk right off the map. Azazel might try and get some damage here, but we'll see if he can even kill him before these guys get off the map. But that Centaur of Zinch did overextend a bit, got caught out, and is now going to die for his sins. And Zinch had a good lead. They're starting to, starting to have their ankles broken a little bit. Overextending for too many things that are a bad idea. Pavane is going to rampage these Chaos Knights of Zinch out of position, so there's nothing they can do about that. This isn't honestly a bad fight, even while you're being rampaged, though. I mean, you're fighting other Chaos Knights, so your health isn't really going to go anywhere. The Pavane is doing most of the damage right now. I mean, we have Sour Guts firing over the top to try and hurt these guys. It looks like the Sour Guts aren't just going to take the free value that's in front of them. They really want to go get that Skirmish Cab, but they don't have the luxury of choosing that, unfortunately. Mirgard going to flank him a little bit, and Azazel dives in. His terror will push off the Chaos Knights of Zinch, and even a nearly full health Zongor. Holy... Okay, well, I guess that's happening. At this point, it looks like it's pretty over if that's how this is going to go. Zongors are terror outing at full HP from Azazel's dive in with his little sword thingy. And now we're with just the Sour Guts. I mean... Have Chaos Knights, you have three Skirmish Cav that can chase off anything Azazel routes. You can kill off the Sour Guts too pretty easily. Their leadership's also dipping down into demonic instability range. There they go. Still taking some damage, not gonna fully crumble just yet. And the Mirror Guard will shatter this time. They don't have any routes left in them. Chaos Knights is intro off the map. Regular Chaos Knights are going to charge in to try and end this game. Mirror Guard did shatter like we predicted. And the Chaos Knights kind of blunt their charge. Didn't really get the full charge impact off. But the Skirmish Cab are still poking down the Sour Guts. Rampage will come in and stop them from counter firing for a bit. Also, the damage is very nice. And such an important unit in this late of the game. That is GG. The Lord's Knight plus catching out the Centaurs was huge. Chaos Knights, one of these guys might route. The other one will be fine. The Skirmish Cab are taking care of the Sour Gods. Demonic Instability finally takes care of them. And now the Zongors. We saw Zongors routing at full HP from Azazel when he had his cooldowns up. Don't think it's going to get any better for them. So they'll just get recharged by Azazel and the game will end. In the distance, we have Marauders and Zongors walking each other off the map. Both are routing, but they're routing close to each other, so then they don't think they can rally. Which I always find odd, but sure. Charge comes in. Azazel thinks about diving back down. There it is. There's all the routes. And that is GG. First Poop Fairy Run, uh, 2,700 value for Azazel, 2,200 for the Disc Knights.
Regular Chaos Knights, 1,500. Demons View did pretty well. Actually, the Marauder Horsemen just didn't get a lot of value, but I don't know. They were fine. On the other side, Centaurs of Zinch. Mixed, but overall not great value. Chaos Knights did fine. Iridescent Horror on his one final transmutation got 1,200. Then he just got rampaged to his death. Sour Guts did fine. Zongors did fine. G, G. Rawr. Subscribe. Yes, yes.